day is going awesome, amazing. Today, I've got something a little different. I'm gonna bring you to a job site, and this is not just any job site. This is a very special job site because of the people that will be living there. We're going to go, going to, go to the Brant, the Brant's house. So a little bit background history. We'll even back it up a little bit farther. Um, we are huge supporters of the military and first responders, police officers. I like to think of uh, the, I like to think of military as the people that fight to keep us free, and the police officers are there to fight to keep us safe. I had an opportunity to do a ride around with uh, Officer Phil McBroom, now Sergeant Phil McBroom, I believe, in North Pole PD. Just a lot of the times they have to deal with just that bottom 1% yuck in society. Imagine these guys just do it and they're just heroes and they just roll with it and they just take care of they take care of business and so we so appreciate them. October 16th, 2016, Sergeant Alan Brandt uh, was dispatched to a call of shots fired. He he showed up at a situation and there was someone with a gun anyway. Long story short, uh, he's a hero, stepped in, saved the day. However, he was uh, he was shot. I have complications that came from that. I want to go into all the details. The main thing is he's a hero and he stood against the bad guy and the bad guy is no longer uh, out there as a threat to us. But unfortunately, um, Officer Brandt did pass away. One thing though that I can hold on to is he was a fellow Christian. So we're going to be able to see him in heaven, which is uh, reassuring, reassuring. He survived by his wife Natasha and their four small children. He was 34 years old when he died. Um, so, so that's that's the tragic story. That's a story of a hero. That's a story of an amazing person. But here's the next story. So here we are, two and a half years or so later, and the community uh, is like, you know what? We need to do something for this fallen hero's family. What can we do? And a whole bunch of local people in the community have had work crews, all the companies that have donated money, time, and services to build them a brand new house. It's the house we're gonna go to today. We have the chance to be able to provide the controls, which is a pretty small portion of the job, but pretty much everything has been donated to be able to help this family. And that's just a very, we, she wanted to highlight, I talked to her and she wanted to, uh, to just mention a lot of the companies in the community that have stepped in and she's just a super gracious person. Just wanted to find a way and maybe use this video to even just say thank you to all the companies that have donated. So, and, and as for me, if I was a police officer, to watch a video like this where you can see a highlight of, of the community uh, stepping in to be able to to help your family because I mean when you're a police officer I mean you don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen if something happened to you like what's gonna happen to your family so it's really cool to and this should be reassuring this would be reassuring to me if I was a police officer to know that a community is willing to step in and and help your family so it's it's a tragic story but even God can use something as horrible as this to make a really good thing happen let's go ahead to their house and I need to go lay out to one of my guys on the thermostat locations, the boiler controls, and maybe we'll have a chance to meet her if she's there with the kids. Hello. How are you ladies? Good. What do you think of your new house? Awesome. Pretty cool. Oh, Hi, Natasha. Boy gets his own room. Bert, pleasure. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right, guys, I'm sitting here with Natasha and her four wonderful children. And we are over at this, I, I, what do we got going on here? Maybe maybe you can tell us, what's, what's the story behind you? Well, this is a community project that many of Fairbanks, North Pole area, everywhere has been, they have been coming together and helping me with. Uh -huh. I have a small house at home. <laughs> it's a beautiful two bedroom, one and a half bathroom house with no garage, which has been great for the last, um, well, that was 11 years with my husband. We built it together. And um, well, I can't remember when we exactly finished building it and moved in. But anyway, we built it together. We saved all our money. So anyway, uh, we yeah. grew out of it. <laughs> all you these grew babies. out of it. And um, so, when I had Actually, do you mind introducing your children here and how old they are? This is Belle. Hi, she's, Belle. She's five. Five. Claire's eight. Mm -hmm. Kate, nine. And Fritz is 11. 
Fritz is 11. So we, nice. um, when we had this fourth one, it was <laughs> like, okay, we have to do something. And we couldn't decide what we wanted. We were gonna add on, but then that wasn't work out. And this is about just under a thousand square feet-ish. Mm -hmm. And so we threw out. And we were planning to build that winter. We were gonna make our house plans and build that spring, at least start. Mm -hmm. And so it probably been about this time we would have moved in anyway, um, yeah. in our new home. And so he died, my husband died, and um, the whole entire community wow. donated money. Our family, I know, they knew how small my house was. His mom would joke that, you know, is there enough air in that house to breathe? You know, she would be silly and you know, we were grateful for what we had, but it was getting tight. So anyway, we were going to build that winter. We were going to make our plans and then um, everything, you know, changed and the community came together and they donated a lot of money through a you caring site. Mm -hmm. And so I had hopes that maybe I would look and just buy a house in that event. And I decided to stay in Alaska. It's our home. I moved up here in 2001 and got married, went to school, had babies, and so um, I have not been anywhere longer than here in Alaska. Um, this is my home family for you was military. We were Air Force, so we moved around, and ah. so I didn't stay very long, you know, three, four years everywhere we went. So this is home. Friend, he decided, hey, I build and I do these projects all the time for himself, so he wanted to volunteer and build me a house. And, um, so this is where we're at. A lot of people jumped on board and said, hey, I want to help, I want to help, I want to help. So over the last few years, two and a half so here years, they've everybody's just come together and started building me a house. And then anything and that needed funding, the community money that was donated has gone to it. So it really is 100% community built house. Beyond, I can't even imagine, it's really cool that um, specifically it was the Woodway they offered a wood stove for my house and they said come on in to see what I have you know what we have what I wanted what we was looking at they picked out one beforehand for me and I wasn't expecting they picked the best one they have I just nobody has uh, said oh here's my leftovers they've all been like here let me give you more than you ever could have dreamt of and more than I would have had I mean my husband was we wouldn't have been able to afford some of the nicer things that people have given. It's beyond thankful and I, um, I've i been told here and there with different people that have helped and who are helping and that will be helping. I can't remember them all but um, it's just I have been overwhelmed just beyond belief how generous and wonderful everything has been and I'm very thankful, very, very thankful. To be able to actually take part, a super small part. I'm going to go and mention the companies here down in the description down below, uh, at least some of them I'm aware of, that have donated. And But she is deserving, I feel, every bit and more. So appreciate you letting me well, come out here. So maybe give I'm us... I'm not that amazing. The Lord has been I'm good. Not. He's Sorry given us strength, strength to do much of this. Well, so do you want to see inside? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. What do you think? Yeah? From a contractor's perspective, this house is built top notch. Literally be able to heat your house with that wood stove, no problem. Poor Joyce. Are you kidding me? Holy moly. You could drive a semi truck on those. A radiant floor throughout, I think eight heating zones. I mean, this is this is not the normal build. This is over the top build, which I think is very appropriate for this awesome family. Community businesses and things. Families have come, some of the police department friends have come and just worked on their weekends. And um, my builder, his wife, her friends have come out. And I've even had some of the military guys come out. A bunch mm -hmm. of them in a group. On Saturday, and all the just get their weekend. It's really cool. Sometimes the community doesn't know, like, I mean, your husband has given so much. An absolute hero. Like, what, what can we even do? So this at least allows the community to be able to I know you're thanking the community, but it's also a thank you from the community to you of 
you know, what can we do? And obviously, well, this, is, this is the best thing anybody could do. Um, this is what our dream was to have a house that was bigger, that we could live here for a long time. So it's really special. Brandon and the kids took off, but I just wanted to mention, again, we're going to leave some uh, a list down below of the companies that did donate, but thank you to Central Mechanical, provided all the plumbing here for free, Beckley Mechanical, all the heating systems, free, covered, Johnson River provided the framing, foundation, uh, labor, they just took care of that stuff, and I'm not exactly sure the breakdown, a lot of people either did stuff for cost, heavily discounted, or completely for free which is amazing. They probably don't even want us mentioning their names, but Ventilation Solutions as well. There's so many companies. Actually, let me just read off just a few. I'll miss some. Alaska Quality Insulators is doing the insulating. Uh, uh, Big M Electric, we mentioned before, electrical systems taken care of. Um, G Structural uh, provided all the engineering, which this is quite the engineering uh, masterpiece here. So Fountainhead uh, donated and coordinated a lot of equipment. Alaska Window Installers installed windows. Uh, Great Land Windows, Provided Windows. So again, I, I could go on and on and on. This is just a very neat thing and I wanted to share it with you guys. I talked to my wife about it, just making sure that, and talking to Natasha that we're, it's a delicate thing, but you can see that their kids, their kids are just wonderful and she's doing a great job raising them. So the least we can do as a community is help build them a house. So this just, this makes me very proud of uh, my community here and being a part of it. So I'm gonna go and send you to my wife and we'll see what she's got going on at home. But thank you for uh, watching this and seeing, seeing an amazing woman uh, deal with hard times. And she just has a, uh, still has a wonderful spirit about her. So send you to my wife, see what they have going on. Here we go. Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. My babe is actually over at, um the Brant's home. Um, I, we, I have met her one other time. She probably won't remember me, but um, when we were looking around for churches in the area, um, we went to their church and they sat right in front of us. And I was able to introduce myself to her and she's got adorable little, four little, I think she only had three kids at the time. And they're just super, super cute, super sweet kids. My babe is over there and we're actually gonna be working on a project for them, for the house build that they're doing, and it's involving a lot of people. Um, Bert will, Bert, I'm sure has filled you in on their backstory that um, she lost her husband about three years ago, and um, he was a police officer. And it's it is so neat in this fact that something so tragic and so awful that. A community of people and people with skills and people with businesses are able to come together to bless this woman a super hard time I could only imagine and it could totally happen to us that if I lost Bert and what I would do and who would I would lean on and how I would go about my life of being able to raise my four kids just to think about that is just a sense of like, holy moly, overwhelm this. How would I be able to handle this? Just all these things. And to have people step into her life, I know she has a, a super awesome core group of people. And for them to be able to step in and offer this to her, of being able to supply her a house is huge. What a huge burden and a huge relief off of a mom, off of someone who's just trying to um, get through the day to day. Because I can imagine that even waking up and getting through the day to day is a challenge. Um, so it, we are super honored and super like excited to be part of this, an opportunity to be able to bless her. So he is over there right now, I'm sure, being himself of the goofiness and playing with all the kids and having fun and and uh, just let just filling you in on their story. So so I am finally getting the old Ev Page's hair in the mail. That has taken a minute. So I'm gonna go uh, drop it in the mail real quick. 
Um, I have decided to take some of this. It's a Sudafed congestion. It's this, you know you had to get, you have to get like a special waiver or something or another. It's like, you can buy it, but you've gotta be careful. Like they're like, okay, you can only get a certain amount of these every month. Interesting. I guess it like was banned in like 2005. There was something that was not going on. Anyway, I'm trying that for the old dizziness. It is improving, but I do feel like I'm in a bubble. I'm in a bubble all the time. And it's super, de super debilitating when I am like trying to move and get stuff ready. I'm going to continue. I am cleaning all the things. We have special guests that are going to be coming that you guys, you've met, you've kind of met kind of met but not really not really though not in the not in the way that you're going to be meeting them so they are getting ready they're going to come here tomorrow so i'm trying to clean like bathrooms and stuff i won't even tell you how long it's been since i've cleaned my bathroom before texas there you go i admitted it okay so i'm trying to clean all of that stuff and yeah so that's what i'm doing let's uh continue with that and we will take you on throughout our day I'm gonna grow mine out and do the same thing. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, thank you. Alrighty, so successful male hair mail off. Um, okay. We are gonna run to the library real quick to go get some books and maybe sign up for their summer reading program because. <gasps> yeah! And, but we're kinda late to the ball game. Hashtag my life. Hit subscribe and subscribe on this video. I should hit the bell on the button. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.